you can't do percentage changes, you are throwing away two marks, maybe three marks, if it's a bigger question. It's always going to come up because it fits the bill for the 10% numerical questions. Percentage changes, the thing you need to remember, the tip is new. The reason why is because new stands for new number minus old number divided by old number times by 100. New, new minus old over old times by 100 because it's a percent. Let's go through a question. So we've got revenue total costs, and we know that revenue minus total costs equals your profit, your net profit in this case. And that's one side of the column. And here we've got 2018 and 2019. 2019 is clearly further in the future, so that would be the new number. 2018 is the old number, so that helps with the new. Let's go. So revenue, if revenue is 100 million and total costs are 70 million, then it makes sense that net profit is 30 million. And on the other side, if revenue in 2019 is 110 million and total costs are 72 million, then it makes sense that the net profit is gonna be 38 million. So how do we do percentage changes for each of these three? Maybe that's three marks that you will be getting now. Let's go, so revenue. New, new number. So the new number, when we're looking at revenue, and we're looking at calculating the percentage change of revenue between 2018 and 2019. Well, we take the new number. The new number is going to be the future number. So 2019, the latter number, that's the new number. And that's 110. So we put 110 in there, and then we minus the old number. The old number being the previous year, 2018, the old number is 100. So 110 minus 100 divided by your old number. So just divide it by 100. And then because it's a percentage, we need to times it by 100. So times by 100. And if you do the maths on that, it comes to 10. That's 10%. Don't forget the percent. So we can see that between 2018 and 2019, the revenue increased by 10%. That's a good thing, revenue is increasing. So let's now do total costs. So remember, new, we take the new number for total costs, that's gonna be 72 million because that is 2019. And then we minus off the old number, the old number is going to be the previous year, so that's 70 million. 72 minus 70 divided by the old number in the previous year, that is 70 million. 72 minus 70 divided by 70 times by 100, get a calculator, quickly do it, and you'll find that it comes to 2.9%, and that's to one decimal point, one DP. You see it there. So total costs have increased by 2.9%, which isn't a great thing. However, it's actually gonna turn out great for your profit because your revenue has increased by a greater percentage. Your revenue has increased by 10% per year. That's a fantastic thing. But now let's work out what the percentage change of profit is gonna be. So again, we follow the same process. We're gonna do new, so it's the new number. The new number for profit is 38 million. And if we take off the old number, the old number is 30 million, that's from the previous year, divide it by that same old number from the previous year, which is 30, so 38 minus 30, divided by 30 times by 100, and that's gonna to come to 26.7% to one decimal place. So that's fantastic. And the reason why that's increasing at such a faster percentage rate is because you've got Revenue increasing, but total cost isn't increasing as quick as revenue. And when you think about profit equals revenue minus costs, that's the reason why it's brilliant if you've got revenue moving at a quicker percentage change than your total costs. I hope that helps with percentage changes. Make sure you slap down new because that's so important. It's guaranteed to be two or three marks in the paper. I hope you're enjoying these videos and I'll see you at the next one.